filter out the salt from the salt water yes. and make it into pure water. Yeah. So therefore, if you are telling me that there is such a device, which you can just a small portable device maybe, yeah. which uh, one can carry uh, with them and then you can just take out the sea water. And, uh, yeah, it's just like a brush or palette. We have graphene filters. Graphene filters. Yes, we have graphene filters.
and we can check the conductivity. So graphene that is a material for the present world. By using a filter, that is graphene filter, we can improve the desalination as the reverse osmosis process, you know that it's a time taking, it takes uh, yes. of energy as well. Yes. But when we are using the graphene filter, the nanopores are taking the water only and leaving all the contaminants on the layer. So now when we have this, we I assume that this is a layer of graphene. Yeah. And to verify it, we have to find its conductivity. Yeah, we can do other, we can do other conductivity measure. We can also go for other analytical techniques also or to check the exact the, the thickness. Yes, you can the thing measure you can you get a fairly good idea yeah. of whether it is one atom thick or yeah. The nano dimension we have to check. Then after that what happens? If that this doesn't have holes in it. No, no. For that we have to go for the we have to go for the advanced method of preparing the graphene filters. Graphene filters can't be prepared in the we lab. We can't do it here. No, no. That means that we need specialized technique. Yes, yes. We need specialized technique and very advanced lab. Because nano pores that nano dimensions have to and that is the limitation. We that we can't use it on a general way in a lab that we can't prepare the graphene. Okay. So uh, for that we need, uh, it can be done on an industrial uh, yes, scale, yes, I think. Yeah. Advanced and lab is required. And, uh, and I think it's not just pure graphene, it's graphene. Because uh, some graphene oxide or something. Graphene oxide, yes. yes. Pure graphene, it is difficult to prepare mm -hmm. and to use anyway going for the advanced lab. Mm -hmm. But graphene oxide can be prepared easily and can be used and the nanopores present on the layer of graphene oxide can be used for water filtration. I see. Right, like in the water treatment plant, the water is going through the different yes, yes, different, different, levels, different filters. Yes, different filters. Yes. But what happened? The presence of pesticides. That is the chemicals of the concern level. Like when we talk about contaminants of emerging concern. So the nanoparticles. Yes, C E C. Yes. Nowadays what happened, everyone is talking about CEC, that is contaminants of emerging concern. That is coming from the industrial waste, that is coming from factories, that oh, is yes, coming oh, from yes. pesticides. Yes, yes. Right. even the medicine from the pharmaceuticals that yes. is coming out. So the graphene oxide filter can remove the CEC, that is contaminants yeah. of emerging concern. That is important. So it is that yes. fine. Yeah, it is that fine. So fine that it can so remove filter that out also. Yes, the C C otherwise, C otherwise uh, uh, you know the entire world has a water problem, getting fresh water. Yes. And even though you have the seas, uh, seas available, uh, so much water is there. Yeah, we have so water resources, but, but filtering it out is such an expensive, you know, to get uh, pure water, filtering out the salt from it. It's a very expensive method. Mm -hmm. So and for that industrial, industrial and the factory waste, the chemical, the hazardous chemical mm -hmm. added in the water, that can also be removed by this graphene oxide. Now we have this uh, nanoplastics everywhere. Yes. All those particles. Bioplastic, bio, yes. Bio that will also go. Yeah, that will also be so removed by by this way. multiple use, not only for the sea, but even multiple yes. everywhere it can be used. It has yes, it will have. So is there, has it still been, uh, has it come into the market yet? Not yet. Not yet, but in Singapore they are using up to a some level in some of the lab. They are using maybe some advanced. Maybe some advanced. It's not yet been commercialized. No, no it's not. Yeah. It's, so it is in the research uh, yeah, stage. Yeah, it is has in the research stage. It's very exciting, but it's very exciting, it's very exciting yes. that we have such a wonderful, yes. we are going to have such wonderful solutions. Yeah. So we have to go through uh, different steps before introducing to the graphene okay, so, oxide. So if there are huge, uh, huge particles there, big yes. substances, they have to be filtered out yes. by normal processes. Mm -hmm. Then after that for the final part, mm -hmm. to you know, get water which we are not, the quality of water which we are not able to get where all these other chemicals that are dissolved in it are also filtered out. For that, then we in the last step we have this. Uh, yes, analysis. yeah. We can remove the CEC that is the concern for the present world. Yes. There are very hidden chemicals. What other purifiers they are not detecting. Okay. Yeah. These are the nanoscale particles. The farm, the 
the medicines that is coming going inside the water that is not so easy to mean like antibiotics or antibiotics or yes you are very right. so even what we get through uh, reverse osmosis ro filter ro filters even that is not so good in quality as we can get from nano filters yes very right like, very true i see that's very very heartening and very exciting to know that uh, we are going to soon have this yes and uh, after like you just take it or take the filtered water that you have in your home it must be for domestic use and then put it again through a nano filter yeah and then that uh, can be yes the scientist andre dean said once graphene is just not a material it is the material of future of future yeah thank you so much yeah. graphene the material of the future with unmatched strength and flexibility it's transforming industries from biomedical devices coatings and supercapacitors to advanced batteries sensors and solar cells graphene is leading innovation it's used in cooling reactors thermoelectrics touch screens and even wearable tech the possibilities are endless